This, ladies and gentlemen, is how the picture looked like before patch 1015. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how the picture looks like after patch 1015. I would say it's a very big improvement. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. As always, before we start, please do me the favor, please like, share and subscribe. And now let's talk about the latest patch, patch 1015 for the Callisto protocol, because now after this patch, we can finally enjoy this game with good HDR. With patch 1014, they introduced this setting, the black point correction into the game. And yeah, back then, unfortunately, this setting, this slider was unusable because even you changed the setting just by one click, you had terrible black level crush. But after the recent patch, patch 1015, we can finally use this slider as we like it. And I have to say, the picture quality after setting up the slider in the correct way is really good. I wouldn't say it's on the same level as that space in terms of contrast because it appears to me that we still have some sort of issues with contrast and elevated black levels in the Callisto protocol, but it is way better than before. And just a very quick reminder, this game, the Callisto protocol supports the HDR system level calibration on the console. So make sure that you set up your HDR calibration menu in the correct way. Otherwise you will end up with a wrong maximum peak brightness in this game. So let's talk about my recommendation for the black point correction setting. And in my opinion, and I have tested this on an OLED LG G2, there's just one correct setting for this slider. And in my opinion, you should change the slider completely to the left side, because with this setting complete to the left, you have almost no elevated black levels. Again, in terms of contrast in terms of elevated black levels, there is still something happening in the background. It is still not on the same level as Dead Space or other games like Resident Evil 4 demo, which has, in my opinion, really good contrast because we don't have any elevated black levels as far as I can tell. But the Callisto protocol is still suffering from a little bit of issues with elevated black levels from time to time, but it is on a very, very good level. So almost no point to complain anymore after you changed this setting. My recommendation for the brightness setting is quite simple. Set this up as you like it because you can't change the maximum peak brightness with this setting. The maximum peak brightness is set up through your HDR system level calibration on your console. The only thing what you need to consider is that if you increase the brightness setting in the game too much or too high, then you will experience clipping and specular highlights. That means you will lose very fine details in very bright objects. And I have to say, I really like the standard setting in combination with HGHG on my OLED LG G2. The game is a very dark game, but the specular highlights are very, very bright, around 1000 candela or 1000 nits. So the contrast in this game is really on a very good level. Again, not on the same level as Dead Space, which is, in my opinion, superb when we're talking about contrast. But after the patch, the Callisto protocol is really, really good. So give it a try if you're playing this game on an LG ZX or LG G2 or a similar OLED TV, leave the brightness setting on standard or the factory setting, change the black point correction to the yeah, left side and use HGHG. And of course, this is very important, play in a complete dark room. Okay, my friends, so that's it for this video. I say thank you very much for watching me. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and let me know in the comment section what you think about the latest patch in the Callisto protocol. Do you like the picture now? Do you have maybe different settings? And yeah, maybe you can share this with us. I would much appreciate it. Thank you very much again. I see you guys next time. Bye.